Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Adhika Bhadari from Extra Coding YouTube channel. So, first of all, happy Independence Day to all my dear friends. Celebrating 75 years of independence today, we are going to learn how to make an Indian flag using Python. So, let's get started. First, we will import the module tkinter import star so this will import all the classes and functions presented in tkinter module okay now we will take a variable when is equals to tk this will store our window tkinter window so when dot main loop okay now we will make a canvas here on which we will draw our flag so canvas is equals to now we will use a class called canvas canvas remember the c of canvas should be in capital okay now when here we will give the variable in which our take into window is stored now we will give height and width to the canvas so let the height of the canvas to be 600 and uh, width to be um, 900 okay so now we will give it a background color bg is equals to uh, okay so let's copy this It will highlight our canvas now we will write canvas dot pack we have to give it a position that's why we have give it canvas dot pack our canvas will be in center of the window see it's in center so this is the whole window and this is our canvas on this canvas we will make our flag so to make a flag first we will make a rectangle so canvas dot create rectangle now we will give it four values x1 y1 x2 and y2 okay so what are these values suppose if we have a this is our canvas and we have to make a rectangle so if we are making a rectangle there will be a point suppose this is the point so we are dragging it so the starting point is this point so how much far this point should be from the left side and how much far this point should be from the the north side so the space we are defining here is the x1 space okay x1 and the space uh, we are giving it from the north side is the y1 space okay which y1 okay so you saw that we dragged the rectangle from this point to this point so we have to define this x2 and y2 so the space we are gonna define here is the y two space okay oh. y2 and here the space we are going to define here is the x2 space so there's a order in which we have to define all these so it's first x1 then y1 then x2 then y2 okay so let's see first x1 value we will give it 100 and y1 also 100 now x2 value we will give it 800 and x uh, sorry y2 value we will give it 230 okay now we have to fill a color so fill 
the first rectangle is of orange color as we all know so let's take an orange color um, somewhat dark okay it's perfect so let's copy it and give it the color now let's run our program as you can see there's a rectangle and you can also see that the outline is a black color if you want to outline if you want that our outline should also be of the same color we will write here outline is equals to the color so now let's run it see the outline is of same orange color okay and guys there's no need to give the position because we have defined the position here only okay now we will make two another rectangle just like this so let's copy this so okay so here we have to just change the positions here we will give 100 let it be 100 because the position of this will be same of the two rectangles the x position and so let it be 100 and the y1 should be 231 because it has been ended on 230 that's why we have given it 231 now the x2 position will be 800 only and the y2 position is 370 370 okay now we will give the that last rectangle position that's of green color so x1 to be 100 only x y1 to be 371 because it has been ended, ended on 370 that's why and let x2 be 800 and y2 be 510 okay 510 now we have to change the color so let's take white first so white and the last rectangle is of green color okay yeah so the outline and the fill color to be green now let's run our program yeah it's almost done now we have to do is now what we have to do is to make a spoke in the middle so friends i have a pick of this spoke that here it is so let's so right now we will write ing is equals to photo image file is equals to the the spoke dot png the file name and if your file is not in the same folder as your program you have to give the full path now we will write canvas dot create image now we have to only give it x and y position so let x to be 395 and y to be 231 okay now we will give it anchor position northwest nw stands for northwest and image we will give the variable in which our image is stored so img so let's run our program now 
and yeah here's the final output hope you guys enjoyed it jai hind jai bharat vande mataram